the first Russian beer on the channel, and it comes from Russia's number one brewery. It's beer a karok from Mother Russia. We have a can of the Baltica Gold Number no. Five coming in at 5.3% ABV. Now, first things first, this apparently comes from Russia's number one brewery, and this was kindly sent in by number one German fan of the channel, Stefan Bream, and he actually put some, like I say, some, some notes on the, sticks notes on all the cans he, he sends me. And uh, he's got on here, Russia's um, number one brewery from St. Petersburg, a great, water very soft so apparently this is brewed with a very very soft water um so i think without further ado let's get it in the, let's get it in the glass um it's the first russian beer to be reviewed on the channel the first russian beer i do believe i've actually ever had so it's a first all round isn't it Well, first impressions, it's a bit of a great pour, really. Um, plenty of carbonation, and what you've got to take into account, this is a non-nucleated glass, so this is the carbonation in the beer. It's it's clear, it's straw coloured, it's got a lovely, beautiful, two-finger, white, frothy head. Let's get the aromas. Ah, oh, grassy malt. Slight sweetness there, a little bit of pepper at the back end. Now what's quite interesting is on the can, I don't know if you can see it there, it says golden 5.3% pale lager. I'll bring it right up close. Can you sort of see that there? There you go. Okay. Now, the first impression is the smell of this. It smells very Pilsner-like. Definitely got a Pilsner smell to it. It's an Alaga smell. So look, let's dive in, give it a try. Ch Prost Stefan. It actually feels like, on oh, that first sip, a Pilsner. It's grassy, there's some lemony sort of notes there. Now, the interesting thing about this beer, to a lot of people, they're gonna take a swig of this when they have it, and they're gonna actually think this is not a great beer. But, not having had any Russian beers before, and knowing what Russia is like, um, you know, a lot of Russia is quite poor, you know. Is this a great beer for Russia? Is this a great affordable beer for you Russians? So any Russians watching, let me know about this beer. Because, to me, it's a reasonable beer. 
you know, this, this is better than a lot of the dross we get served up in the UK. You know, this is better than your Fosters, your Carlin, and crap like that, your Budweiser's. But it's never going to stand its own against the great German lagers um, and the great German Pilsners. So you're in a situation here where, you know, there's going to be people, if they get hold of a can of this, try it and go, oh, what a load of, what a load of rubbish. But I think you've got to look beyond that with this beer. Is, you know, what great beers are coming out of Russia? You know, um, I've not heard of any Russian beers. It's the first time I've ever had a Russian beer. Um, to me, it's reasonable. But is it is it one of the better beers in Russia? Um, be interesting to find out. I do like this. And I've had a few more sips. It's like sort of honey lemon pepper believe it or not. A fish similar to the lemon in this, right? If you was to squeeze a lemon, I like sometimes, you know, when you squeeze a lemon, you sort of hold your hand there and squeeze it so the pips stay in your hand, right? If you just get your finger and lick your finger afterwards, that sharp lemonness. That's what this feels like. Um, it's really refreshing, and I can see with with um, with what um, Stefan's telling me. This 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 is a beer that is brewed with very very soft water. It's very very soft and refreshing on the palate. You know, on a hot day in St. Petersburg, I reckon the locals and, and the tourists knocked plenty of this back, because I bet that's sold all over St. Petersburg. I bet they've got, you know, in, lot, in most of the bars are probably selling it. I, I said, I've never been there, so I can't comment, but I would have thought so. And I know St. Petersburg gets really, really hot in the summer. It's up on that Baltic coast. I really rate it actually. The more I drink it, the more I like it. Um, even though there's plenty of carbonation, it's not a gassy beer. Um, this would go great with food. You could you could you could smash a few of these back while eating food. Brilliant barbecue beer. If you could get it, get enough of it. What a great beer for the barbecue. Pale lager. I think they should have maybe lent towards the Pilsner by calling it a Pilsner. I think it lends itself to being a, to a, a Pilsner better than a lager. Um, that's a big thumbs up for me for this beer. Yeah, I can see why Stefan purchases it out in Germany and um, likes to drink it. Be interesting to see what Stefan actually comments when he actually drinks this beer. Is this a lot of beer you sort of have with barbecue food, Stefan, or on a hot day, or you know, as a refreshing beer? Be very, very interesting to find out. So look, see if you can get hold of, of a can, a bottle of this, or even if you're in St. Petersburg, try and find, find a bar that sells it. Try it, see what you think. Leave a comment below. Give us a big thumbs up if you like the review. Hit that little bell. Get notified every time I bring out a new one. And of course, subscribe to the channel. And like I always say, beer is the answer. But I cannot remember the question. Thank you for watching. Good night. <coughs> TT says, never play with matches, fireworks, and always drink responsibly. <laughs>